Hi everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass and I am a targeted individual. For those of you who do not yet know what a targeted individual is, it is a human being like myself who has been chosen through some covert unknown means to be used in human experimentation. Human experimentation uh, into MK Ultra style mind control with covert LSD and hypnotic drugging. Uh, more gallons, nanotechnology, bioweapon, builds uh, radio frequency, semiconductors, and crystals into the human body, oh. allowing them to be uh, picked up by, followed, tracked, traced, manipulated by the new global mind control grid. Behavior modification, neuro linguistic programming, irradiation, electrocution, uh, gang stalking. Um, basically trauma-based mind control. I'm under 24-7 uh, remote neural attacks. Oh God, look what they've done to me. And um, it's sucking the life out of me. I feel like I'm being cooked by a microwave machine. And uh, and it makes me dizzy and nauseous and sick and seizure disorder and uh, thought problems, memory loss, uh, hot flashes, sweats, vomiting, diarrhea, the list goes on and on. Anger, agitation, fear, crying, panic attacks, uh, coercive technology, a active denial system is a microwave system. Anyway, the reason I'm making this video is to uh, express my frustration and explain to the world how it works these days with food stamps, which they've now changed to be called the SNAP benefits. I wonder what that means, like they're ready to snap you in, in two, you know? Uh, I've been fighting to maintain my benefits, although as far as they're concerned and in reality, I am undomiciled being forced to relocate 10 times in three years. We've just been told we got a forced relocation yet again. And uh, so in order to recertify for the food stamps, I was supposed to go to an appointment I couldn't make because they didn't send me the letter until after the appointment was over. And then the recertification people had my phone number wrong, even though I called them four times to say, could you please change my phone number, which they didn't do. So luckily I was smart enough to have a fair hearing, which happened fairly quickly, within two months. And they said, yes, we're going to give you another opportunity, another opportunity to be um, recertified. So we came over to the food stamp office in an effort to change my phone number because they said they were going to mail me a recertification package and call me. Uh, but when I went to do that, they said, no, go upstairs now to the first, fourth floor and recertify. But I'm not ready to recertify. I only came with the documents needed to change my phone number. Um, and my wife is here, Petra is here, and she has a bunch of my documents in her bag. But when I walked into the room with Petra where she was sent to uh, give some of her information, I was told by the fast approaching security guard that no, you're not allowed to be in this room and talk to your wife. And she said, well, he's very, very sick. I'm here helping him out. Is it possible we could just spend a couple minutes together so I can go over these documents and give him the proper documents to send him upstairs to recertify? No, you're not allowed to do that. You have to leave and you have to stay here. And da, 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 da. So I said, you know, fine, just I'll wait outside. I'll get the papers tomorrow. We'll come back and I'll recertify and wait in, inside for five hours till they see me to find out that I should have done something else in the first place like they want. Uh, you know, food stamp benefits, food stamp benefits, food stamp benefits, food stamp benefits are given to uh, anyone who has below a certain income level. A certain income level, below a certain income level means that you're entitled to food stamps. If you have no employment or your employment uh, is under underpaying you, you know, and you're undomiciled, or even if you have a home. 
Millions of people in this country are on food stamps. There's nothing to be ashamed of. You know, this is a hard economy. They have clamped it down so tight that not a single soul can make it without having to be corrupt or pray or struggle. We're all like a paycheck or two away from being homeless, starving, and, and everything else, just like me. So, food stamps. You know, you would think that uh, there's some small safety net in this country, social safety net. Unfortunately, once the satanic New World Order government has taken over, they've infiltrated all aspects of government and social life, and now things like benefits, excuse me, for the poor, are the first to go. Why? Well, they claim it's because of a budget this and a budget that, and the hell with the poor, they can all starve to death, right? Except the poor make up, you know, like 89% of the population. So it seems to me like they're just doing another squeeze the thumb screws down, make everybody uncomfortable, unhappy, and afraid, make them worry that they're going to lose their home and their job and their well-being and their livelihood and their children, the ability to eat and have a roof over your head. They're going to freeze to death in the street. They'll lose everything they own, blah, 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 blah. It just goes on and on and on. Uh, this line of reasoning, by the way, is the line of reasoning that I am attacked with regularly. They discovered that this is something I find upsetting. Uh, I don't want to end up homeless yet again, uh, as has happened to me several times over my life. I don't want to lose everything I have yet again, as has happened to me several times over my life. And in the past, you know, I always believed, oh, it's my fault. If only I had not been such and such, or only if I had done such and such, or... Well, it turns out, folks, that all of that reasoning was a fallacy. It was false. The truth of the matter is, I didn't do anything to make this happen. As crazy as it sounds, as much of an excuse as it sounds, this is fact. And other targeted individuals and Morgellons sufferers know this. We did not choose to be targets. We did not choose to suffer with Morgellons. We did not choose to become human t experiments. We did not choose to be murdered by our own government slowly over time. We did not choose to be made to look like crazy people, drug addicts, homeless people, so that we would fit into some slice of society that they've been pre-programmed to react to. You know, when you see somebody homeless in the street, what's your first thought? Oh, that poor person? Or, oh, it's their own goddamn fault. If only they had blah, 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 this never would have happened to them. You know, one or the other. And uh, don't forget that everybody here, unless they're rich and part of the New World Order, is only a couple of paychecks away from starvation and homelessness. How much money you got in the bank? Have you maxed out your credit cards yet? Well, anyway our case, we've had people do things like uh, falsely report our electric bill to our landlords, raising it two, three times to cause conflict and strife, so we'd be fighting over the electric bill. Or they threaten the landlords, tell them, you better get rid of those people or we're going to do something bad to you. Or they come and tell them, oh, they're pedophiles, they're terrorists, we're investigating them. Who knows what they do? Maybe they just beam the mind control beam on them and give them the tension and anxiety and fear and trauma that I've been living with for the past several years. And that's enough to push them over the edge. I don't know. But uh, clearly, my life is not my own. Patriot's life is not her own. Our lives together are not our own. And all we want, all we've ever wanted in our lives was to be left alone, to be respected, to have justice, to be, you know, ourselves, for it to be okay and validating to be who we were. You know, young, attractive, intelligent, creative, thoughtful, the world didn't want that from us. They didn't want us. They didn't want us, obviously. Unless we were sold into this from birth or in some kind of crazy genetic shit. I don't know. All I know is that it seems like this new world order, evil satanic empire, has gotten a hold on all parts of society, government, business, industry, judicial, legislative, executive, you name it. And this cult of the Illuminati has infiltrated them trauma-based generational mind control avatars for the evil beings. I don't know. May God have mercy on us all. Thanks for watching.